Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Fire Takes TV. It's well known in Hollywood that many celebrities have struggled with addiction in one form or another. Stars like Robert Downey Jr. and Craig Ferguson often crack jokes about their past substance abuse during interviews. Being that it is such a common occurrence for stars to come up against these struggles, it's not a surprise when those with similar histories, such as that, bring it up in conversation. However, in the case of Robert Downey Jr., it would appear that some outlets are more suitable than others. During a recording of the Smartless podcast at the start of COVID, RDJ didn't quite seem himself as the questions were flowing from his pal Jason Bateman. Here's what happened during RDJ's interview with Jason Bateman, what they talked about, and why listeners thought Robert was a bit off. Robert Downey Jr. was one of the first Smartless guests. Shortly after the launch of the Smartless podcast, RDJ was front and center. When Smartless, a hit podcast co-hosted by Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, and Scene Hayes came onto the scene, COVID was in full swing. Many of the guests on the show participated in the podcast via Zoom to be part of the episode. When Robert Downey Jr. was invited onto the show by his friend Will Arnett, he did so at Will's home studio after a week-long stint of solo parenting his two young children. The conversation utilized the typical banter between the co-hosts and their good friend with the four individuals knowing each other quite well outside the podcast. Towards the end of the episode, Robert Downey Jr. spoke about his documentary about his father. While he was a significant influence on his son's life, Robert Downey Sr. also struggled with addiction before his death in July 2021. Jason Bateman encroached on a personal topic. While Downey brought up his past, Jason Bateman expanded on it. Being that Bateman, Downey, and co-host Will Arnett share a common history of addiction and substance abuse, with Bateman only getting gigs once he got clean, it seemed to be a natural sig when Robert Downey Jr. started to talk about his previous stints in jail at the top of the episode. In talking about the rampant spread of COVID-19, R.E.J. brought up how he saw firsthand how quickly illness spreads during his time behind bars. Following this, Scene Hayes embarked on a question about Downey's past. Following up on the question, Jason Bateman started talking about his own experiences and inquiring further about RDJ's recovery and past. Soon after, the four men shared stories about their struggles and how they kept things at bay even many years later. Will Arnett shared an example of himself and Downey just a few days before recording. In the short story, Will and Robert were at an event and were asked to grab more wine from the cellar. While Robert Downey Jr. first grabbed the wine, he passed it on to Will Arnett halfway through the journey back to the group. The two men attributed this to being a safeguard they instinctively have in place to protect themselves from any impulses they may have. Listeners picked up on a personality difference. Throughout the interview, it seemed clear that something was amiss with Rory Gage. There have been many interviews in which Robert Downey Jr. has spoken at length about his addiction. However, there seem to be times when he doesn't want to broach the topic and instead wants to focus on something entirely different. Typically, this will take place when he is actively promoting a new project but some felt that the actor was reaching the point of not wanting to discuss his past any further during this smartless interview. There have been times when Jason Bateman lost his cool at the start of an interview, which has changed the dynamic of the episode a bit. However, this situation didn't firmly place the blame on any person in particular. Some listeners have speculated via Reddit that perhaps Bateman pushed the agenda too far, although it was Ori Gage who introduced the subject and Scene Hayes who jump-started the conversation afterward. While it may appear that the overall tone of the episode was different from previous interviews that Robert Downey Jr. had participated in, there were also several outside issues that were competing for the star's attention. During this time, RGG was creating a documentary about his father's life, who was still alive but suffering from Parkinson's disease. COVID was also running rampant throughout the world, causing a lot of anxiety for everyone. Lastly, Robert Downey Jr. had just been a solo parent for an extended time while his wife was engaged in a work project, which can cause any parent's brain to need a break. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can, that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this, we end our video. Hope you liked the video.